Before we dive into our delightful cooking process, let's take a moment to appreciate the rich history of Arancini. Originating from the sun-kissed landscapes of Sicily, Italy, these little balls of joy have been spreading gastronomic happiness for centuries. Initially created as a means to use leftover risotto, Arancini quickly won the hearts of Italians and eventually, food lovers worldwide. From the bustling streets of Palermo to the high-end restaurants in New York, Arancini has made its mark across the globe, and that's not all. The versatile nature of Arancini means it can be adapted to suit a variety of tastes and preferences. Whether it's the traditional Arancini filled with ragu and cheese or the more adventurous versions with mushrooms, spinach, or even truffles, there's an Arancini for everyone. Now that we've had a taste of Arancini's incredible journey, let's get ready to embark on our own culinary adventure. Let's start cooking. Welcome aboard the International Taste Trail. Today, we embark on a momentous culinary voyage, setting our course towards the picturesque landscapes of Italy. Our journey takes us to the heart of Italian cuisine, where each dish tells a story of centuries-old traditions. Today's star attraction is none other than Arancini. Think about a perfectly round ball of delight encased in a shell of golden and crispy breadcrumbs. As you bite into it, you are greeted with the rich, creamy texture of risotto rice, married beautifully with the robust flavors of your most cherished ingredients. This sensory overload of textures and flavors makes each morsel of Arancini a small piece of heaven on earth. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? First, gather your ingredients. We'll use arborio rice, broth, a chopped onion, garlic, and Parmesan cheese. For filling, choose mozzarella, cooked beef, peas, or ham. A crunchy touch, get breadcrumbs and beaten eggs. We also need vegetable oil. We're turning these ingredients into a delicious dish, so ensure you have everything ready as we start cooking. Don't forget the breadcrumbs, eggs for coating, and vegetable oil for frying. Kick things off by simmering your broth. Concurrently, saute onion and garlic until tender. Next, toast arborio rice in the same pan until golden. Carefully add your broth to the rice, one ladle at a time, stirring constantly. This process will take about 25 minutes. Your rice should now be creamy and flavorful. Remove from heat, stir in Parmesan cheese, and season. Allow it to thicken. Lastly, shape your arancini. Flatten a rice handful, add your filling, and form a ball. The result? A delightful orb of flavors and textures waiting burst open with a single bite. Next, it's time for that crispy coating. Begin by dipping your rice balls into beaten eggs. Ensure they're well covered. Now roll them in breadcrumbs. It's time to heat your vegetable oil. Do this in a pot or deep fryer until it's about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Carefully place your arancini into the hot oil. Fry each batch for around three to four minutes. This imparts a golden brown color to your arancini, indicating they're cooked to perfection. Fry until they're a beautiful golden brown color, which should take about three to four minutes per batch. Finally, remove your arancini from the oil, placing them on paper towels to soak up extra oil. Bask in the sight of the golden brown sphere, crispy outside and soft inside. The scent of cheese, rice, and meat fills your kitchen, a tantalizing blend of ingredients. It's a rewarding sight, the result of your careful cooking. Next, dip the arancini into warm marinara sauce, its tangy taste complementing the rich arancini. The first bite is an explosion of flavors, a crispy crust housing a soft, cheesy rice interior with savory meat. That's the glory of a well-made arancini. And there you have it. Homemade arancini, a true Italian delicacy. When you're craving a hint of Italy, recall this formula. It's simple and truly delicious. Food is a universal language uniting people globally. It's a culinary adventure, transcending cultures. Here at International Taste Trail, we cherish this exploration. Each recipe narrates a tale of tradition. We're not merely cooking, we're crafting experiences. You've joined us, and we're grateful. We look forward to our next culinary exploration. Until then, Buon appetito and grazie.